hail and well met, my warriors of light, my warriors of darkness, and my defenders of Eorzea. Oh, and lest we forget the Avengers of Crush Tacos everywhere, this is your pal Rune back for another episode of the Dawn Trail MSQ. I am uh, looking forward to putting in a good solid push, see if we can't wrap it up tonight. I literally don't have uh, <laughs> any frame of reference uh, to know how close I am to the end outside of as a as a storyteller, it feels like we're getting we're getting to the end. Um, and Ashen, uh, how are you doing, my friend? Uh, I am I am still under the weather, but uh, I was smart. I was smart today and uh, popped my Advil sinus and cold just before the stream. So I should get, I should get a good solid four hours out of that. We'll see how things go, but uh, yeah, I tried to, uh, and forgive me folks, we got to do a little bit of teleporting here. I, I tried to uh, do uh, the Actel uh, Aether Current Guide. Yeah, I, I just wanted, I was going to actually, uh, I was actually just going to really, really, uh, quickly. I am not, or this channel, this channel is not, uh, meant to be uh, a political vehicle, uh, uh, in any way, uh, shape or form. However, that being said, um, you know, I, I do, I do hope that, uh, I do hope that Mr. Trump recovers. Okay. Um, I mean, lo like love or hate someone, uh, no one, no one deserves that. Uh, and my heart also goes out to apparently, uh, one of the attenders, uh, the attendees, uh, was killed as well. So my heart goes out to yeah, graze this year. Yeah, that's that's what I hear. But but still, uh, you know, uh, I hope it heals up well. Uh, and uh, my heart goes out to. Uh, apparently, there was a person that lost their life. Uh, that was an attendee of the uh, rally. That wasn't related to the shooter or you know whatever. Uh, my heart does go out to to their family. Um, and uh, that's all I'm going to say on the matter. Uh, I have uh, two lives. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I, uh, I, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's scary, uh, my friend. Um, but yeah, I, uh, and that, that's, that's all I'm going to say on the matter. I just, uh, I hope, uh, You know, uh, I hope cooler heads prevail. Uh, is uh, is is really all I can uh, say. Wow, only three hundred gil. Shit, that's a bargain. Serves me correct. We just got to go over to the old zip liner. Oh, another another bard. That's awesome. I think. No, that's an astrologian. My bad. Or a paladin. Perhaps. No, astrologian by the looks of the neat little thing on the side there. All right. Still can't get enough of the, the beauty of, of this game, man. Like, 
It just, it just gets me so excited for any future content. Um. Ah, oh, taste your news on barbecuing brats. Oh, good man. Good man. I'm uh. I, I I have not really had much of an appetite all day today. Uh, and, uh, I'll, I'll chalk that up to you, uh, my cold or whatever the hell it is. But uh, I don't know. I might I might just have a piece of toast and honey later on. I'm not. I'm just not feeling uh, hungry at all. So. Or maybe I'll be a good boy and throw on a pot of chicken noodle soup or whatever. We'll see. But brats, man. Ooh. Go for some of that. Okay. See Daisy over here. Yeah, chicken noodle soup. It's like maybe a piece of toast and butter or something. Yeah, I think I think maybe I think maybe that'll be what I have later on tonight. We can push off at any time. Mind the gap when you board. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, it takes me back to being in London, England. Mind the gap. It's what you hear every time you get on the tram or the subway, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, they they are rather ma majestic, one hundred percent. Oh, there he is with his wifey. Do you remember what I said to you? before all this. That life is a series of journeys. That you must be true to yourself. For indeed, there's no telling what awaits. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I certainly didn't expect to behold such sights. The future is as fluid as the water beneath us. Truly. Tell me, my friend, have you ever wished to be reunited with someone who has passed away? I have. I do. But I think, above all else, I wish that they had lived. Yeah. If only for one more day. One more day. A joyous one, if I could choose. I did all that I could to make it happen. I tried everything and spared nothing. In that manner, I was able to keep some few souls out of harm's way. But so... So many were beyond my power to save. What would I have done then, had I this? And you, can you imagine yourself spending eternity here, knowing no loss?
'Twas nice to chat with you again, my friend. Feels as though it has been some time. Slums done. First pass. Working on the surrounding areas. Around the wealthy. Oh, nice, brother. I was going to say it's coming along. Coming along quite nice. You're fleshing, you're fleshing things out really well. And that's uh, and that's the thing I do like about uh, Incarnate is like, you know, working with the layers and stuff like that is can be a lot of fun, right? Having met Endless like Euclid, I feel I've come to understand Sveen a little better. Anyone would wish those dear to them a long and happy future. She bears the burden of this desire for all her subjects. Yet as Kral said, we too have people we cannot lose. Come, Rim. We can get to the fountain via yonder bridge. Oh, sure, brother. Kryle and Aaronville are still out and about, it seems. So how was it? What are your impressions of those you met? It was great. Everyone was so happy. Just taking talking to them made me happy, too. What about you, Rune? Oh... Sweethearts reunited. That's a miracle. Well, it is a miracle after a fashion. The system strives to make such encounters possible. If you meet someone you know, it's probably not by chance. The terminals hold information on unfulfilled longings and use them to orchestrate reunions like Euclid's. I see. The terminals can do this, uh, that the terminals can do this is impressive indeed. But there's one thing I do not understand. According to Euclid, his beloved passed away decades after he did, yet they appeared to be of like age. Ah, yes. People are not necessarily recreated as they were when they passed away. The appearance of an endless, I speculate, reflects the happiest period in their life. Is that the case for you then? Not that I can tell how old you are, as slowly as your people age. I'm not sure to be honest. I have so many happy times it's hard to know which one applies. I'm insufferably inquisitive. Whether it's nature or technology, I can't help but want to learn more about the world around me. You might say the discovery is what gives me joy. It made me happy in life and may have been a blessing afterwards. The other Endless are content with what they have here, you see. They don't develop the urge to leave. But I was so determined to see the world again that I taught myself how to gain control of a vessel and ventured outside. Ha! You're a proper rebel. Well, that's enough about me for now. While we wait for Kral and Elenisphia, I have a favor to ask of you. As you may have noticed, most of the fountains here aren't running. That's because despite its shiny appearance, this city is centuries old, and everything is dreadfully run down. 
The fountains apparently used to put on magnificent shows, and I was hoping that we could get them working again. Giving the, the control units a dose of aether should be enough to restore the circuits. Switch them on, but being an endless, I'm unable to do that. I realize this is a selfish request, but at the last, I'd like to treat people here to the display. Just leave it to us. I'd love to see the show myself. Thank you. The control units are built into the surrounding lampposts. We tend to a few of them each. You'll be done before you know it. Once the fountains are fixed, we can round up Elena, El Elena Sheep. Spia and Kryl and head to the hydro terminal together. So the time is nigh. Come, let us set to it. Dilapidated control unit. Okay. Switched on the circuits like you asked. Thank you, everyone. Hopefully, this does the trick. Ha! Oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh. oh. seen anything like it. <laughs> Set to music. Yeah, there's uh up in Niagara Falls, uh there's there's a few displays set up uh like that. for a child, a small Shabrali girl. Have you seen her by chance? Yeah, see, this isn't uh, all it's cracked up to be. Um, because if, if we never came here, she would spend, what, eternity looking for Wuklamat? You, 
You are Namika, aren't you? It's me, Wuklamat. Don't you recognize me? <laughs> oh, what am I to do? The child and I, we aren't related by blood, but she's as dear to me as my own. It's all right. You found her. I'm here. Yeah, but it doesn't seem like she's hearing anything either. Oh, maybe. You? Could it be? <gasps> yes, Namika. You know these eyes, this voice. It's me, Utlamat. It is you! Oh, how silly of me! But if you're here, then that means... No, no. I'm still alive. Oh, good, good. Thank the gods for that. But what power has brought us together again? This isn't a dream, is it? It's not a dream. Or rather, it is a dream come true. I so want to hear your voice one more time. Just look at you, my Wuklamat. Stronger and more assured than I've ever seen. <laughs> Such hazards you must have braved, and hardships endured to come so far. It was tough, but I made it thanks to my friends. And to you, Namika. I'm the person I am now because you always believed in me. Because you loved me as if I were your own daughter. Thank you. Thank you. You're everything I could have asked for. The best mother. Ah, I'm so glad. Looking back, I've had a blessed life, and it was because I was a part of yours. When I lost my child to illness, I thought I'd never know happiness again. But it rekindled in my breast the instant you smiled your little smile at me. <laughs> you became my purpose. My joy. <laughs> you were mine too. To have this chance to speak with you again and leave nothing unsaid. I know not how or why, but I am grateful. So grateful. Where you must go, I cannot follow. But know that I'll always be with you. Take care of yourself. Promise me. I will, Mama. 
I will. Oh. And one day, we'll meet again. Uh oh. Oh, the queen's making an appearance. Stretch too. Holy jeez. All right, all right. Turn the camera I on just to just to show your to let them go. show you to the your adoring fans. Yeah, big suck. Hey. Eh? But as painful as it is to part. We're meant to live and die. Yeah. To let go and let others carry on in our stead. We can't cling to everything forever. Very wise, a young Wuklamat. Come, let's keep moving. Even the floor is pretty, I know, dude, like everything is, is pretty. It's unbelievable. No, of course, it's not as pretty as you, boo. I just got, I just got the look that I, that I called something else pretty. There was a, there was a sense of disturbance in the forest. even look at that water that's all sorts of goodness and is it just me or does that symbol kind of the symbol on the tower kind of look like our quest symbols <laughs> Just to make sure, Kafkuya, you're not doing going to disappear when we shut this terminal down, right? Not just yet. It's the Aero Terminal in the northwestern zone that holds my memories. Huh. You already know how to operate the terminal. It's the same process as the fountain's control. We all know what that means. Yeah, exactly. I leave it for you to decide when to shut it down. Doing so will cause the endless here to fade away, together with this beautiful scenery. If you still wish to speak with people or see the sights, we'll want to do that first. Here we go. Shut it 
down. Break two. want to cuddle there sweetheart but you're gonna to have to deal with just flopping in front of the keyboard okay This hurts. I'd be lying if I said otherwise. The only way now is forward. Alright, Kavkia regards you and your companions with a sympathetic gaze. Don't torment yourself so. I ask this of you, so the burden lies with me. And remember, we endless are but facsimiles crafted from memories. You needn't feel guilt for erasing us. Be that as it may, it's so hard to say goodbye. It is. Nonetheless, our, it's our duty as living to know and remember them. So let's pull ourselves together and keep at it. Keep seeking them out. I'd appreciate that. Come, let's head to the next zone. Yesterland, it's called, and another zip line in the Gate of Remembrance will take you there. Ah, but I ought to mention, while shutting down a terminal should erase the endless bound to it, those with strong, unresolved feelings may linger for a time. If you encounter such individuals, perhaps you could lend them an ear, for their hopes are proof that they once lived. crazy looking oh got people got people on a hunt train or a fate train whatever the looks of it system reboot complete reboot error error user registration confirmed Bid you welcome to Yesterland, where the dreams of children and inner children alike come true. Please enjoy your stay. Oh, you out of here? Dad making too much noise, eh? <laughs> oh my god. 
such. He's ridiculous. Amazing. Is this also a recreation of an actual place? After a fashion, Westerland is themed upon a period of peace before the storm surge had engulfed the world in conflict. It was a golden age for Alexandria, and they've captured it uh, here in the form of an amusement park. Well now, another large scale attraction. Feels like the gold saucer. It does, doesn't it? It's exciting to simply step through the entrance, and I imagine this is how we're intended to feel. On the far side of Yesterland is a castle. That's where a terminal is located, in the basement. I'll go on ahead and wait for you there. Take what time you need to get acquainted with the locals. Have fun now. Like before, we'll speak with the Endless. We'll learn what's dear to them before doing what we must. Right, let's start by exploring and getting our bearings. Awesome. <laughs> Old fashioned house. Domicile the building represents those that lie submerged in heritage found. Windows are composed of colorful array of stained glass. artwork on the ground depicts a swirl of stars. Perhaps such a sight was once visible in the Alexandrian night sky. Oh, hello there, mister. We're just talking about Sir Otis. Do you know him? Sir Otis, sorry. It's a bit odd. Doesn't get jokes. But he's really strong and can vanquish fiends in a flash. Aw, oh, jeez. He's probably out there fighting right now. When I grow up, I want to be strong like him. Sir Otis, the children spoke of calls to mine another Otis. Might be worth seeking the man out to confirm his identity. Yepers. very medieval yeah like it's this is just awesome
man is engaged in battle with fiends, he may need a helping hand. Sure. Not who you are, but my thanks for your timely aid. <laughs> your bait's so strong. <laughs> that was amazing, Otis. And you too, Mister. <laughs> Fiends such as these are not to be feared. Well, then. Dealt with it already, have you? Be at ease, one and all. So long as I, Sir Otis, live and breathe, no citizen shall come to harm. Look at that sword. Look at the wooden pommel. That's just gorgeous. Like, they can really... Yeah, and there's the shield. Of all the people, could you really be that, Otis? Hmm. I'm certain I do not know what you mean by that, Otis. <laughs> I am who I am, and I should very much like to know who you are. You're Sir Otis Velona, Lord Captain of the Royal Knights of Alexandria, yes? We met you while searching for Gululja. You cooked a most delicious repast for us. Fought beside us in Solution 9. Oh. Gululja. Solution 9. I've never heard of such things. These events of which you speak are utterly unknown to me. As are you. I'm quite confident I would recall if we had met before. Could this be? <gasps> Villainy! Villainy! Uh -huh. You seek to bewilder me for purposes most foul! Oh shit. No, no. No villainy intended. I swear. <laughs> Tell me I'm not man. This is definitely the Otis we know. Right? Well, well yeah, but... Yeah earlier I say what are you whispering about there wait ah, I've no time for this I must attend to my preparations for the founding celebration uh -huh. the children begged and begged that I perform in the marquee play and I cannot possibly disappoint them I take my leave of you. Good day. That is a sweet suit of armor. Founding celebration? What a surprise to meet Otis. He might not be the exact same as the one we met in Heritage Found, 
but still. Thinking back, he mentioned that he was a test subject for soul preservation. That might explain why he's here in this way. In any case, I'd love to talk to him some more. There's some things I need to tell him. Look, Lamad is eager to go after Otis. Right, let's go after Otis. He's bound to know about the past, about the Alexandria of old, as well as Sveen, when she was a living person. The problem is he doesn't seem to be in the mood to talk. Perhaps we can offer to help him with this founding celebration. That might warm him to us. He set off this way. Come on. not water it's just a uh, cool mosaic trust those spriggin bastards yeah see what did I tell ya Looks like we're on a on a spriggin' cleanup uh, mission here. Trying to take I know, I know, they're always protecting their bloody shiny rocks. yellow brick road now. Yeah, not wrong really. Yeah, well, hey, you know, how to protect your goods. thinks which your highness replies with her winsome smile I am thanks to you my dearest Otis <laughs> oh rehearsing a little too <laughs> You again. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your rehearsal. Shall I play the part of the queen? <laughs> no, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your rehearsal. Tis fine. I shouldn't have trouble with the lines come the performance. After all, the script is my very own work. Ha 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 ha. There is, however, a scene with which I struggle. Hey, this looks fun. Can I join in? Oh my god, Wuklamot. Huh, you as well. I thought I said that I was busy. You did, but we thought that maybe we could help. You're getting ready for the foundation celebration, yes? I am, and of truth be told, we are in dire need of assistance. 
For this edition of the celebration, there is to be a play about the history of our realm for the children's enjoyment. But with fewer of us being given form, we haven't enough hands to carry out the production. Thus have I been tasked with not only writing the script, but performing as myself besides. Calm down, it's alright. We really are happy to help in any way we can. Just tell us what to do. For the same reason the production is short-handed, it has become difficult to gather a crowd. I'd be obliged if you could spread word of the play to the children in Yesterland. Consider it done. We'll take ourselves around and talk to the younglings. Splendid. Oh, and better appeal to them. We have adorable animal costumes for you to wear. Together with your cheeriest bearing, of course. Oh. Uh, Alright, anything to make the children happy. Well, does Wooklamot really have to dress up? She already kind of looks like, uh... She's already a furry. I mean, come on. Let's see. Ah, yes, this one should be suitable for you. Oh, God. Ah. Uh, oh, it's a glamour. I was confused for a moment when you handed me the device. I have something in mind for you as well. Let me know when you're ready and I shall activate it for you. Oh my god, if he turns me into a tiger guy, it'll be hilarious. Ready, are you? Then let us have you don your costume at once. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, fair enough, fair enough. Marvelous. There's not a child that would fail to be delighted. Oh my God, it's too bad we didn't have Loperitz here. You meant bunny then? <laughs> uh, I'm the I'm the tiger bun. Ah, uh, he, he really does suit you. Oh yeah. I don't, you don't want me to say that your costume suits you, uh, Wook. Now that you are suitably attired, I pray you go forth and promote our play to the children. Concentrate your efforts here, in the vicinity of the air cab station. See that you make it fun. In the meantime, I shall continue my own preparations here. Should your costumes wear off, I'll provide you with another. Oh, God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, hello there, Mr. Rabbit. What's the matter? Ah, oh, the play. I know about it. They sometimes have performances over at the castle. It's, I've seen it before, so I was going to give it a miss, but if you say it's special this time, then all right, I'll go. Look, look, it's a rabbit. What is it? Want to play with us, do you? It's going to be a play about Queen Sphine. I want to see it. I want to see it. We'll head over to the castle right away. Thanks for telling us. Looks 
so there's one up top, I'm assuming. Oh, cool, the underlighting of the steps. That's pretty awesome. to look at Queen Sphine too, Mr. Rabbit. Great big golden statue is exactly what she looks like. That's what my mom told me. She's a scientist. My mom also told me that the terminal is a tomb. Her Majesty just watches over all of us from there. Play about the realm's founding. I love history. That sounds great. I let my mom know so we can go and watch together. Thank you, Mr. Rabbit. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Holy jeez. You shall rue the day you cross paths with this royal knight. There's going to be a play with knights and stuff? Come on, let's go and watch. We can ride the air cab later. should interrupt my air cab watching but a person in a silly costume let me guess you're here to tell me about the play don't bother i've seen it no less than 50 times already otis is going to be performing as himself now that's a new twist on an old classic all right all right just for that i'm willing to see the play again Ah, yes, snotty nose little Ella's a prick. Oh, sorry, did I say that out loud? You finished making your rounds. Excellent. I shall take the costume off your hands. Thanks to the two of you promoting the play in my stead, I could memorize the lines to my satisfaction. I'm grateful beyond measure. Don't mention it. It was fun meeting endless children. Endless children? What an odd thing to say when we're endless ourselves. It's uh, complicated. I'd explain it to you, but the play's due to start soon, isn't it? I very soon. I must needs make my way to the venue and see to the final preparations. Let's talk later then. We'll be cheering you on from the crowd. By all means, but hold on. What would you say to performing in the play as well? Uh, are you serious? Oh no, definitely not. I've never done anything like that, and I don't think I can learn lines on such short notice. Ha ha ha, rest assured, it wouldn't be a difficult part. What I have in mind for the two of you is a little sword play, a duel between Alexandrian and Lindblom soldiers. 
that is certain to please the children without the need for words. Sure. What, what, what do you think? This Alexandrian Knight is going to take you down. Ha 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 ha. That keen are you? All right, you asked for it. Then it is settled. I shall prepare your costumes for you. You need but engage in a mock fight. While there isn't time for a rehearsal, the little mistakes are all in good entertainment. With that, I shall go and inform the troop members of the changes. Pray make your way to Proto-Alexandria and wait for their instructions. Ah. That's a castle where the terminal is. When we shut it down, Yesterland and the Endless in it will also fade away. So let's give them a show to remember. We'll remember them too. Them and what it is that they seek to preserve through this celebration. Spriggins there. Absolutely gorgeous. seems to be the right place. What's on the program, I wonder? And where are the others, for that matter? Oh, just you wait and see, pal. conflict rages over precious Electrope, and the Kingdom of Alexandria has been embroiled in the chaos. When the royal capital comes under siege, the Kingdom's valiant knights lay their lives on the line for their beloved Princess Sphine. I bid you keep your handkerchiefs at hand. Now, Without further ado... Ah, 
Oh, I beg your pardon. She looks even looks even hotter in armor. <laughs> what a twist! Oh, unbelievable! Oh, Aaronville. Okay, don't quit your day job, Wuklamat. Nice. You must flee, all of you. <laughs> and so, in no small part due to the valor of the royal knights, the kingdom succeeds in repelling the invaders. But their jubilation proves short-lived. For in mad defiance, the enemy unleashes a forbidden weapon which brings about a terrible calamity. Full many lose their lives. The good Queen Sphine, shining vision of hope among them. To her. You're supposed to go to her. What's happening? Is it over already? <clears throat> and then. Though the people grieved their queen's tragic passing, uh, guided by her legacy of compassion. Oh boy. They, um, worked hand in hand to overcome an age of hardship, and in time, they built a peaceful and prosperous Alexandria. A new Alexandria. <laughs> Woo. Pray forgive me. The memories. They had me in a vice grip. All's well that ends well. I wouldn't dwell on it. If I may ask. During your improvisation, you spoke of a new Alexandria. And so I'm given to wonder, do you hail from a time after mine own? We do. And we're living people, not endless. word that I should meet the living in this place there is another question I dread to speak aloud a question I couldn't bring myself to pose to newcomers 
out of fear of the truth. Alexandria, does it still exist? It does. It isn't quite the place you knew, but it endures. The descendants of your people walk its streets and live each day to the fullest as proud Alexandrians. They live. We live. I... I had failed to protect my queen, but to hear that, it brings me a measure of peace. You were there too, Otis. That is an incarnation of you. Of me? That's absurd. Ha ha ha. But wait. Something comes back to me. When they were researching a means to resurrect her majesty, memory preservation or some such, I volunteered to be a test subject. Yes, sir, you did. Ah. No. It is a fog I cannot pierce. But pray, tell me, this incarnation of myself, what was it like? This proud and valiant knight of the realm. It's a brave soul who protected his queen to the last. Yeah, that's... That's not all. He was a father in all but name to the new king, Gululja. Whatever you may have failed to do, you're the noblest of souls, Otis. And your deeds, your sacrifice, gave us hope that we sorely needed. <laughs> it is a miracle. Verily, there can be no other way to describe it. It is. It really is. We bear the legacy of your other self, and we'd be glad to bear yours as well. My, what comfort you offer. With such dependable souls to take up my shield, I may rest easy indeed. <clears throat> I beg you, watch over our new king. The war changed my queen. To her final moment, grief darkened her gentle countenance. I had not the honor of knowing Galul Ja, but I pray that for all his days, he shall have cause to smile. And you rock, dude, and I want your armor. We'll see to it he does, Otis. I swear.
Well, we're here. Are you having doubts? No, I'll do what I came to do. It's just... The founder, you are of someone. Oh, sorry. The fonder you are of someone, the harder it is to say farewell. You're ready, Rune. Then I am too. Alright. Let me just say the, a word about those we met here. They yearned for peace. All of this will carry with us. I see. like waking up from a sweet dream to bitter reality. I'll never forget my time with the Endless or the pain I feel now. More, where are more memories stored in machines. More than memories stored in machines. So long as someone remembers us and carries on our legacy, we'll never truly fade away. I uh, uh, would guide you to the next zone. So far, there appears to be no change at the Meso Terminal. So let's hope that uh, let's take the opportunity to visit another zone, Asil Volcano, in the northeast. Place with the volcano, eh? And I suppose we're using the zip line again. You know it, like before. I'll take care of the guard at the gate of remembrance. Come, let's head back. complete user registration c c confirmed dauntless adventurers i bid you welcome to a style volcano the sanctuary of the strong fight with courage and honor that your legend may resound forevermore in the arena of valor Oh, 
Will. It's only an illusion. It's only an illusion. <laughs> What's this now? Don't tell me you're afraid of the lava. No, no, not on your life. I, I, it, it isn't real, is it? <laughs> oh, definitely not. But don't take my word for it. Jump in and see for yourself. No, no, I need, I, I believe you. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't blame her for. That there is the terminal. You can get to it via the caverns that run through the volcano. I'll go on ahead and wait for you. Take care around the wildlife wildlife now. Hey, Aaronville. I'll explore alone. You needn't worry. I'll give the wildlife a wide berth. The lights in this place are too beautiful. Yes. I know, I know, there is that sadness uh, so far of having put the lights out to regions. Poor Aaronville, he's still coming to terms with it. You can hardly blame him. Let's leave him be for now. Come on, let's get moving ourselves. Like we have two paths to choose from. I thought I saw Kafkia heading to the left, though. Well, that would seem to be a detour. I must say, I'm rather curious about that round building. Well, I'm always up for the scenic route. Let's follow after Kafkia and see what the building's all about. an arena of some sort if I was to hazard a guess. Coliseum as it were. Holy jeez. Oh, that's an angry one. Now, look who came this way too. Great minds, as they say. This appears to be a fighting arena. Is it also a recreation of an actual place? A recreation of an actual place? In all likelihood. While I don't know the details, I understand such facilities were once common across the land. Though it's closed at the moment, even Solution 9 has the Arcadian. It may well be a legacy of the past. Anyway, it seems the next match is about to begin. As I've already spectated my fill, I'll move on. But you ought to head inside for a look. Oh, I wonder if we're gonna see that kid who uh, was out of uh, was out of souls. A 
Look at the texture of that place. Holy. And they just really flexed what they could do in here. Holy shit. Well, I'm going to button too. Ah, uh, my spell speed's better than yours. That rather resembles Arcanima, wouldn't you agree? Indeed. While similar arts could have developed independently across reflections, this verges on being identical. Is something wrong? Uh... What? Do we know each other from somewhere? Come on, dear! I'm sorry, but I must be going. Wait, please! You're new here, I gather. It may seem strange at first, but give it time. You'll grow accustomed to it soon enough. No, 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 I, I'm not. Uh, rather, I'm... Uh... Oh, what can I say? I'm your kid and you toss me into another world. This earring, do you recognize it? Impossible. Ah. My name is Kryle. When I was a baby, I was taken from this world to another, where I grew up without knowledge of my past. I know not how much time has passed for you, and, uh, things may not be as you expect them to be, but I'm here now. I found my way back. This earring, it contained a code with which I was able to reopen the gate, and I did, and I'm here, and... Could it be as she claims? She's not lying. I can tell. And there is no mistaking the earring. Oh. <sighs> How you've grown, my darling daughter. Just a little, eh? It has been 20 years.
Uh, yes, names. I'm Robor, and this is Alila, your mother. Doubtless we have a mountain of questions for each other, but perhaps we can take this somewhere quieter? The heat wells, for instance. There's a spot there where we can relax and chat. Could it be that the system orchestrated this reunion as well? Forgive me, it's all too much to take in. I'm struggling to collect my thoughts. Yeah, I don't blame you, darling. Trial has regained some composure. All right, I, I feel a little calmer now. I thought myself prepared for the possibility, but to actually come face to face with my parents is overwhelming. Having been parted from them as an infant, I'm not sure how to behave. Take your time. After everything that has happened, you deserve to do so. You have many things to say to one another. Now you can say them. Indeed. This is a meeting to be cherished. Just do what comes natural, eh? Thank you, everyone. I'll make the most of our time together. I just behaved like a child like yeah I uh It's such a strange feeling to be reunited with you beyond death. Your companions, what are they called? Oh dear, I, I completely forgot to introduce them. Over here is Wuklamat, power of resolve of Tulilal. Beside her is Gratia, my colleague and the students of Baldician. And this is Rune and an adventurer. Though that hardly does him justice, he is the most dependable of friends to whom I owe my life. My word, we clearly have a great deal of thanks to give, don't we, dear? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, we do. Our heartfelt gratitude to you all. Not the smoothings, smoothest of beginnings, is it? Only we had some gibberish pavil to ease the way, am I right? Wait, that's not a bad idea. Hey, are you hungry? We could bring you something to eat if you like. Oh, uh, thank you, but we're fine. You know, it's quite hot here by the springs. Something cold would be lovely. 
Understood. We'll fetch you all the, all treats that'll help cool you off. I wouldn't want to be a bother, but... Yeah, we got this. Think nothing of it. This is what friends are for. Thank you. We shall look forward to the cool treats. was well conceived with Lamont. <laughs> Just putting what I learned in Yaktal to use. I had to mention a potential problem, however. It is food here tastes like nothing to the living. Seriously? I had no idea. Still, it appears to be perfectly enjoyable for the endless. And going along with the idea, Kyle likely, under likely understands this. It may not instantly break the ice, but I'm hopeful that it will help the thaw it. So we'll split up and look for what Alayla requested. Something cool, ironically. This is supposed to be a special moment, so I say we go with the best treat there is. One that'll leave an impression. The locals ought to be able to recommend something. If you wanted to ask people near the Aetherite rune, Gra, Tia, and I will do the same elsewhere. soap like that. I'm going to need a gold star ice cream. What? You don't know gold star ice cream? It's only the most popular treat here in the Sile Volcane. Oh, it's a little tricky to tuck into. You can't come here and not try it. There's a stall just to the southwest, so you have no excuses. Okay, that sounds good. Always down for some ice cream. treat that'll leave an impression. That's a difficult one. Sal Volcane is home to fighters, so the food here is mostly the hearty and filling kind. Ah, right. There's a popular stall to the southwest that might just have what you're after. Why don't you go and take a look? Hmm, what snack to have today? Hey, you want a recommendation for something tasty and cold? This stall doesn't have that sort of thing, I'm afraid. But speaking of something cold, I can use an ice drink for my snack. I think I'll get a coffee. Actually, a tea might be better, or even a lemonade. Ah, uh, but I can't go past a beer. Yes, let's make it a white beer today. Jeez. All right, off to the southwest we go. So you're here too. Everyone I spoke with recommended Gold Star ice cream. Yeah, the, those colorful balls stacked on top of each other. That'd be the ice cream, I take it. 
I can see the appeal, but it's going to be hard to deliver it intact. We need three servings, so let's get Grahab to help carry one. Talking to a transportation expert. <laughs> Just leave it to me. You mean you can do it alone? Well, there seems to be vessels for carrying three. Are you sure about this? Great. They're definitely safer in your hands than in mine. I'll go and tell Kraha everything's taken care of. See you back at the springs. Ha ha ha. Hi, Boo. Oh, I see. Mr. Felix was chasing you, was he? I got it. Hello there. Would you care for our famous gold star ice cream? All right, three servings coming right up. Here you are. You'll want to be quick so it doesn't melt, but also careful so it doesn't collapse. Good luck and enjoy. Goodness me, what an amazing looking treat. Thank you so much, Rune. Ooh. Sign me up, please. <laughs> Never did we imagine that such a reward awaited us. Isn't that so, Robor? Uh, yes. Oh, don't mind your father. Like me, he's still getting used to seeing you all grown up. This is just excruciating. <laughs> yes, well, a 20 year blank is not so quickly filled. Even so, there's got to be something we can do. You know, I think I might have an idea. Oh boy. Raha? doing? It's trying to break the ice. <laughs> there you go. Oh. You, you needn't force yourself. It doesn't taste of anything to the living, surely.
No, no, it, it's delicious. I mean it. I've never tasted anything so good. <laughs> it really does taste so much better when we're all together. <laughs> yes, indeed. Suddenly craving dessert. How about you? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, truly. We've never felt so happy in all our lives. We don't know how to thank you. But at the very least, we can give you some answers. You've risked so much and come so far for them after all. Tis our understanding you are researching a power called interdimensional fusion. Will you tell us about it? To begin at the very beginning, there is a legend passed down by our people, the Milala. In the distant past, we abided in a different world. Our homeland was a paradise of eternal summer. The flowers were always in bloom. Uh. Until, that is, the great calamity turned the very seas to ice. As those around them froze to death, our ancestors looked to a mighty relic for salvation. By its power, they opened a portal and used it to flee to another reality. The key is none other than that relic, and it has been in the safekeeping of our people since time immemorial. Yes. When lightning threatened this world, we attempted to use the key to flee again, like our ancestors once did. Alas, no matter what we tried, we couldn't invoke its power. We had all but given up when preservation approached us with an offer of partnership. Mm -hmm. Desperate as we were, we accepted their help, only to later discover their ulterior motive to plunder other worlds of ether. Seeking to frustrate their plans, we defected from the Order, and as their agents closed in on us, we seized control of the prototype gate and activated it. What followed, you already know. We sent our daughter and the key through the portal, entrusting them to the men we encountered. You were born with an unusual gift, you see. Upon learning of it, preservation sought to subject you to experiments. An unusual gift? The Echo, I dare say. Yeah. Our people, the Milala, are there any ways I might learn more about them? There are, such as visiting the cavern inside the volcano. Our ancient homeland has been recreated there. While it's intended to serve as an entertaining diversion, it ought to teach you a thing or two about our history and traditions. May we go there? Selfish though it may be, I should love to learn of my ancestors. Yeah, of course. Of them, and of the legacy my parents entrusted to me.
Sure, by all means. As it happens, it's on the way to our destination. I was able not only to bond with my parents, but know the joy of sharing a meal with them besides. I told Kryle no. <laughs> yeah, sorry Kryle. We've got we got we've got more MSQ to get through. Goodness. For that and so much else, I thank you. eager to learn about the Malala people. As my parents told us, the cavern inside the volcano is a place for learning about the Malala's ancient homeland, but I'm hoping it will yield other information as well, namely information on preservation. Preservation, the scientists who were researching interdimensional fusion Prior to that, created the Endless. As living memory is likely also their creation, I expect they would carefully curate any details concerning themselves, but I wish to keep an eye out nonetheless. I'm all for it, of course. Seeing as Key once belonged to the Malala, it couldn't hurt to learn about them. Right then, let's head inside. Head inside, indeed. So didn't screw that up, but quite a mystical atmosphere here. Is this what the Malala homeland was like? Ding ding, correct. Uh, what's going on? The ancient home of the Malala people is recreated here in exact detail thanks to the marvel of Electro. The scale alone has been adjusted in order to accommodate folk of all proportions. Ah, uh, but I have neglected to introduce myself. I am the guide for this facility, the steps of the speaker. It shall be my pleasure to assist you as you embark upon your educational journey. even a guide. How considerate. All right, then. As we wander around, if there's something we do not understand, we'll be certain to ask you. Incorrect. 
visits to our facility, take the form of a quiz tour. So the correct answer is follow the instructions of your guide. That's yours truly. <laughs> Sounds like a pain in the ass. <laughs> I'm sure it will be both enlightening and entertaining. Let's have let's have them guide us. Sure, this is your this is this is your digs there, Kral, so very good, madam. I have registered the four of you as visitors. Please proceed through yonder passageway to the chamber beyond. Oh first though. Yeah, no, no, no. panel bears information on the history of the Malala. In the distant past, the Malala abided in peace upon isles of eternal summer. Winter never visited the bountiful, that bountiful land, and the flowers ever bloomed in all the colors of the rainbow. But such idyllic days did not last, for just when it seemed the westerly wind had turned cold, the sea suddenly froze over. From the fish to the water to the birds in the sky, all the animals soon perished. This unnatural weather continued with seemingly no end, and one by one the Malala fell under the death toll was beyond counting. Those who lived still could do naught but pray as they huddled together for precious warmth. The Malala are the keepers of the mighty relic passed down through the ages. While it has the appearance of a crystal, by whose hand it uh, was wrought is unknown. A great calamity froze their isles. The speaker, their spiritual leader, fervently prayed to the relic for salvation. In answer to their prayers, the relic opened for them uh, a golden path, one that shone like the light of dawn, and through it they fled into a new land. Since ancient times, the Malala have excelled in calculations. By using formula and figures to represent all natural phenomena, they had succeeded in devising a unique system of magic. This gift provided invaluable to, uh, proved invaluable in their new homeland. There they employed their calculations to etch arcane circuits upon the ore which later came to be known as Electro. Through this ingenious technique, Electrope was transformed into a tool that can not only store lightning, but convert it into energy of any element. Esteemed for their excellence in the study of Electrope, the Malala were favored by the rulers of many a nation. Some among them have attempted to invoke the power of their ancient relic to return to their homeland their efforts were to no avail. Never again has the golden path opened that allowed their ancestors to flee to safety. Eventually the relic came to be forgotten, and some now question whether it ever actually existed. Well, we know something they don't know. I may have your attention. You stand within a shrine of the Malala, a migrant people who roamed until they found new lands to call their own. Guarding to folklore, they originally hailed from a paradise of eternal summer. Alas, they had no choice but to abandon it when a great calamity froze the very seas. The speaker, their spiritual leader, guided them to safety, and she is enshrined here with the sacred relic she wielded. In this place, they performed rituals de dedicated to the dream that one day they might return to their ancestral home. Sacred relic. That must be the key used to initiate interdimensional fusion. Maybe not. don't talk in front of the robots. 
interdimensional fusion. If such a wondrous power existed, I can only imagine what great feats it could be used to achieve. Now then, it's time for a history quiz. Ah, here we go. There are four braziers in this room, each of which accompanied by a panel bearing a statement. You believe a statement is true, then you must light its brazier by operating the panel. Simple, yes? Without further ado, please nominate a representative and begin. There are no objections. Let us have room to the honors. Go on, take a look at the panels, my friend. Oh, shit. Okay, so do I... Remember, you must light the braziers whose judgments you believe are true. Are you ready for the answers to be judged? No. Praying fervently upon the sacred relic, the speaker opened a portal through which our people fled. However, she alone had to remain behind in order to sustain the power. While the statement is similar to what you heard from the guide, you do not recall the speaker remaining behind. Nope. Long ago, our people dwelled on Isles of Eternal Summer, where the flowers ever bloomed. Yet eternity did not last, for a calamity turned the mountainous waters to barren ice. Yep. Oh, cool. Very cool. Owing to our innate gift and arcane calculations, we Malala not only transformed Electrope in a mirac into a miraculous tool, but excelled in its study besides. As such, despite originally being outsiders, they were favored by the rulers of many a nation. Yeah, nothing in this statement was touched upon by the guide. We need to find other sources to ascertain its veracity. All right, fair enough. When lightning threatened the world, we Malala turned to our relic once more, invoking its power. We opened a portal and returned to our ancient homeland. No, you didn't. All right. Remember, you must light the braziers whose judgments you believe are true. Are you ready for the answers to be judged? Yep. Very well. Let the judging begin. You have chosen poorly. You're welcome to try again. However, think carefully on what you have learned and consider reviewing the panels of the first chamber. Okay. All right, let's do this again. Yeah, I don't remember that being the case. Okay, did I not? Do you wish to light it? Yes, please. Thank you. All right, so this is the only one that I had question because it seemed to me. No, I think I think the guy did touch upon it. They were still here. Oh, geez. Yeah, yeah. No. Ding ding, you have answered correctly. Congratulations. 
Great work, Rune. I knew you could do it. See, that's what I get for doubt myself. <laughs> because I was going to light the calculations one at first. And then it said, well, you didn't really hear that per se. And I was like, but I kind of read it. Taking it face value, the information here would suggest that Malala had simply migrated from a distant land. But we know better. We are aware of the existence of shard worlds, umbral calamities, and the and interdimensional fusion. For an event that froze the seas, the fifth umbral calamity comes to mind. That which ushered in the age of endless frost. And legends hold that during that age, the entire population of the South Sea Isles vanished overnight. Oh! The art of Arcanima, too traces its route to the calculations of the South Sea Islanders. While we cannot outright conclude that these people were the Malalas, there are at least enough points of similarity to support the theory. Ahem. If you've mused your way to, sat uh, to your satisfaction, let us move to the next chamber. Another quiz awaits. Of these quizzes are there. Well, I suppose we're going to find out. having some enemies uh to avoid while you're while you're out on tour Turn to Albuquerque. Sorry about that, folks.
you have come to the most enigmatic location in the museum. While it is known as the Speaker's Rest, everything else remains a mystery. No one knows what purpose it served, not even the Malala themselves. That's rather curious. Isn't it, though? Some have suggested that this place is purely the creation of the facility's designer, that it didn't actually exist in the Malala homeland. It's generally believed, however, that the adornments upon the wall are masks that represent the emotions of men. Then, br then that brings us to the final quiz. Question is simple. How many types of masks are there? It's the last one already? And something tells me it's not going to be as simple as it sounds. Please take all the time you require. I shall be here when you are ready with the answer. All right. I'm just seeing four.
So your answer is four. How about everyone else? Seriously? I thought it was six. Like Rune, I also believe it is four. As do I. Correct answer is... Oh, congratulations to the three of you. Damn it. Where the hells did I miss up? Mess up. And that concludes the quiz tour for the steps of the speaker. I thank you for your visit today and eagerly look forward to your next. Finished at last. God, I'm exhausted. <laughs> if the legend is true, no more counting for me. Yeah, thank God. From the source. Which is which is kind of cool if that's true. If they were actually originally from the source, <laughs> so she kind of got transported back to her her for real home. <laughs> but what is this relic of theirs that can bridge worlds? Who made it? And to what end? Much about the key remains shrouded in mystery. By augmenting it with Electro, Preservation did succeed in opening a portal, yet they could never grasp how they had managed to do so, much less the underlying principles of the technology. To this day, not a single person understands the mechanics of interdimensional fusion, let alone who imbued the key with its power, when they did so, or why. But remember this. The key is a tool. And like all tools, in and of itself, it is a force for neither good nor evil. Yeah, there's a reason why they're saying this bit. Once taken in hand, however, its capacity for both is made plain. In delivering one man, it may doom another, making a lie of its bearer's every good intention. As did preservation, Queen Sveen seeks to wield the key in the name of those she loves. And in so doing, makes her people party to the destruction of countless souls. We have told you all we can. To be able to share this with you at the last, it feels as though we fulfilled our purpose. come to shut down the terminal. Yes, we have. But perhaps there's another way, one that doesn't require the terminal's deactivation. Now, now, Kryl. For the longest time, we've sought a means to erase ourselves before our knowledge could be used for ill. And in you, we have found it. So press on. Press on, and don't look back. I will. question of course my dear the earring why did you leave it with me
Because, Kryl, we wanted to see you again. This may seem self-serving, but we wanted to leave a trace of ourselves with you. A hint to guide you to us, so that we could live in hope. We've dreamed of this day for so long, that now that it's become reality, we wonder if we deserve to enjoy it. We wanted naught but the best for you, yet we've always wondered how much you might have suffered in our absence. Do not torment yourself so. As fate would have it, you entrusted me to a good man. His name is Galuf, and he raised me as his own. What's more, I've been blessed with the finest comrades anyone could have. It's thanks to you that I am here now, hale and happy. So please, be at peace. Be at peace, mother, father. <laughs> you already have a beautiful name. If we might call you by the one we gave you? Second rate, Minfilia. <laughs> uh. Maya. Our dearest Maya. Ooh, I like we that name. We love you more than life itself. I may confide in you, Rune. I've been anxious ever since I chose to accompany you to Tyrell. I was afraid what I might discover. Perhaps I'd learn nothing, or worse, that my parents didn't love me. But now I know the truth and I couldn't be happier. I'm glad I took up Pictomancy, and I'm glad I mustered up the courage to say that I wanted to join you. Thank you, Rune, for trusting me with your life and walking with me all this way. Well, that's all I wanted to say. I'll see this through. Rather, we'll see this through together. You got it, darling. My apologies for keeping you. Come, let's catch up to the others. No worries. Oh, we back here. It's wondering why it is lagging so bad. Turns out it wasn't lagging. I snapped. And on. Oh no! <laughs> oh, 
All right. Uh, assuming this way. The others have told me all. I'm glad Kryle could bid her parents a proper farewell. Now then, to ask this question for the second to last time. Are you ready to shut down the terminal? So what's up, Aaronville sleeve? Are you all right, Kryle? I am. I chose to forge on no matter what. And I've had the courage to do so because of you all. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Anytime, darling. Now, Kui is at ready to head to the fourth and final zone. I must say, the closer we get to the end, the faster see time seems to pass us by. Come, let's head to the fourth and final zone. By now, you know how to get there, yes? Yes, we do. Excellent. This time I'd like to be to quickly check on the meso terminal, so I'll meet you at the gate of remembrance. Come on, everyone. Doesn't look any different. It's 
far as I can tell, we still have some leeway with the meso terminal. And you can carry on getting to know the endless in the last zone. Wind's Path Gardens, it's called, and it's breathtakingly beautiful. That's where your memories are stored, yes? That's right. I left it for last so I could guide you for as long as possible. Very, very thoughtful of me, yes? Ooh, a great idea has just occurred to me. What might that be? <laughs> I'll save it for after we've arrived on the other side. See you there. Her great ideas are generally less than great. Hey, Aaronville. As much as I want to grant your mother her wish, I also want to respect yours. When all's said and done, I want you to be happy. I hope you know this. I know. I know. Kafki isn't only his mother. She's his mentor as well. I can only make it harder for him to say goodbye. Let's go. For now, we keep doing what we've been doing. Seeking out Endless and learning what's dear to them. dragon. Hey, boo. Error, error. Verification system initialized. User registration confirmed. Greetings and welcome to Wind's Path Gardens, a sanctuary of exploration and discovery. The marvels of the natural world await you. could have everyone's attention. I know we have pressing business, but I'd like to say a few words. Before I died, I had two wishes. The first was to see who my Elaneshpia would become. I would say that wish has been fulfilled. Indeed, it has. For the boy who once shunned company has returned a somewhat sociable man, uh -huh. surrounded by wonderful friends. As his mother and mentor both, I couldn't be more proud. As for my second wish, <laughs> That was to see all manner of nature that I had never seen before. I hoped to explore every corner of the world and there find thriving life. <laughs> but I didn't even get to see all of Tural, did I? <laughs> Never enough hours in a day, or days in a year, or years in a life. Kafp, 
lucky you are. Don't give me that look. Though, admittedly, I did go and spoil the mood. Apologies. <laughs> what I was so poorly trying to work up to asking was this. I want you to help me fulfill my second wish. I have a good feeling about this place. There is so much here I've never seen before. I just know it. We'd love to see it with you. Yeah. Oh, she is. She's a lucker, all I right. I thought you might say that. Thank you. Wind's Path Gardens is home to a collection of flora and fauna that once thrived on the continent. Like the rest of living memory, I haven't explored it in earnest. Controlling my vessel demanded all of my attention. But at long last, I'll get to meet the creatures here. Wrap things up with a perfect little adventure. So, shall we? Absolutely not. We're to grant you your wish, and then what? You leave. You cannot ask that of me. Oh, Ellen Nespier. Please understand. I just wanted to end on a happy note. Not only for myself, but for all of us. Better that than a sad goodbye, surely. With your consent, let us begin our adventure. Naturally, while we go about this, feel free to continue befriending, befriending Endless. Be sure to absorb the delightful scenery. Any shadowing, then a final pass for fine tuning and cleanup. Awesome, brother. me of the Loperit's attempt to make, well, it's a better attempt, but it reminds me of what the Loperit's did for a park, except obviously here there's actual flora and fauna. It's not just all lights and tech. This particular garden is called Blooms of Discovery. Beautiful, isn't it? absolutely stunning and they are all actual plants they are indeed these specimens were brought here hundreds of years ago for conservation as a calamity had pushed them to the brink of extinction so this zone is like a great conservatory precisely my dear Kryle 
Here, you'll find flora and fauna, the likes of which no longer exist elsewhere. Doesn't the thought just set your heart to flutter? I walled off all the slums. Well, hey, yeah, you gotta, you gotta keep, gotta keep those slummers uh, out. I suppose. I expect that some creatures I encountered outside Thoreau may have cousins in this world. While I am no expert on life and the reflections, it would make for an interesting study to compare them. Now there's an idea. Leave it to my pupil to think up such. And then place trees around outside the walls to keep them to keep that section completely hidden. Here we have not only words traversing worlds traversing adventure and a veteran gleaner, but a pair of Charlian's finest scholars besides. It's a veritable gathering of inquisitiveness, and I'm thrilled to be part of it. Keep the smell to themselves. Oh jeez. Kafkuya's eyes sparkle in anticipation of discovery. To begin with, I'd like you to scout out the vicinity and report back with any points of note. This would be a good opportunity to speak with the locals. They're bound to be familiar with the area, after all. As El as El Elena Shipia suggested, it would be interesting to compare the creatures here with those uh, native to the source. I've never ventured outside of Tural, so I look forward to your insights. Just leave it to us. I've only ever been to Charlian myself, but I'd like to think I know interesting when I see it. All right. Oh, hello there. What am I doing, you ask? Look up the trunk. See the plants within the capsules? These are a species that either can't survive in Wind's Path Gardens or would have become invasive and disrupt the ecosystem. The capsules recreate the conditions they require, from tropical to frigid climes, while keeping them isolated. Farms, horse breeders, and the ancillary details. Oh, that's awesome, Ashen. In this way, any and all plant life can be preserved forever, just like ourselves. Okay. Let's take a look at the old capsules there. Observation point. An all day took screen caps this morning, but a lot has changed since then. Oh, I have no doubt, my friend. It's easy to get lost in, in map making for sure. Our garden appears to be meticulously maintained, if not by endless, then by machines. That's gorgeous. Oh, here, let's go uh, say hello to them. you know that even the water here is created by using electro the initial product is too pure though the adjustments have to be made so the composition resembles what's 
found in the natural environment. That's just one of the many things they do to create the ideal conditions for these plants to thrive. I don't know what's become of the world outside the barrier, but I should like to visit a lovely spot such as this in real life. Speaking of lovely spots, have you been to the top of the lookout here? It's a great vantage point. There's even a food stall in case you're hungry. I'll take that into consideration, my dear. right ah huh. interesting Ancestors aren't actually Alexandrian, but hailed from a place called Con Conpeti. They had some unique customs there. For instance, when greeting someone, you had to say Lally Ho in a spirited manner. Oh, ha, ha. Our settlement was also famous for a gigantic tree that grew nearby. It was so enormous that when you stood at its base, the roots co covering the ground went beyond the horizon. The terminal here at Wind's Path Gardens is apparently inspired by that very tree. A life a tree, its name was. For a future not so important town, so there's a fantasy town generator that randomly generates a town via preference settings, including NPC. However, it looks terrible. So taking that and using it as a overlay and in incarnate will speed everything. Oh yeah. Sometimes it's all about using uh, a couple of tools, right? Well, or m many tools. It may not be real, but it's nice to have its memento for posterity. generator is a mod in foundry btt also but it's so powerful the graphics the town has to be scaled back oh, okay interesting i'll have to check that out at some point Welcome back, Rune. Kraus just delivered to me a most fascinating report. You have some engaging impressions to share too, I hope. Well, well, that is all very interesting indeed. But I must say, I am most fascinated by the ambulating trees. While there are similar creatures in Urkapacha, 
Could you tell me more about these treants as you know them? They're native to the Twelveswood, where they prey upon even wolves. They're various subspecies, such as those with red leaves or gnarled look. Uh, they like to hurl acorns at you, exploding ones. Ah! Yeah, they're native to Twelveswood, where they prey upon even wolves. Because the UI is not super user friendly. Oh, great. It all comes down to the UI, man. I'll be perfectly honest. Is that so? To maintain the ecosystem here, I imagine there are creatures that serve as their prey. The management of ecosystems. It calls to mind Labyrinthos, does it not? Which is exactly what I was going to say looking at the map of this place. Because it's very reminiscent of Labyrinthos. That's it does. Lest you wonder, Labyrinthos is a storage facility deep beneath Charlian. That contains a recreation of a template, temp, temperate climate zone. Such a place exists? Amazing! By the by, did anyone also catch uh, sight of a large scalekin? Large scalekin, you say? What does it look like? Well, nothing I've seen before, but it has a rodent like form and walks on all fours. It looks like a rodent. Wouldn't that make it a beast kin? No, it's covered in scales, ones that appear to mimic succulent plants. By that, I would definitely cla classify it as a scalekin. Well, it's hard to say for certain without seeing it. Why don't you show me? Show me. Very well. It has a flower. It was in a flower field earlier and should still be near. Let's head over there then. When we find it, we'll see who's right. Two of you should come along too and lend us your opinions. Go on ahead, Rune. I'll let the others know and then join you. Create a town uh, action go back to the main settings but press the button very similar to go back screen and instead close the entire session so you got to redo all the things you just did oh my god that sounds like it would drive me absolutely nuts because because i'm the guy that would be pressing the button that looked like the go back button but Right, you gonna be good? All right. Yep, I've done it lots. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Spot a piece resembling the Echovore you encountered in the first, yes. That's the one there. I see, I see at a glance, it certainly has the look of both scale kin and beast kin. Let's examine it more closely, shall we? Tell me your observations. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's covered in plant like scales. It has deft little paws. It has a pointy snout. Ah, uh, deft little paws. Indeed, such forelimbs would be well suited to holding nuts and berries and the like. <laughs> I want one. Having studied it, I believe that the scales upon its back are in fact a unique form of hide. 
rather than being shed, it grows with the creature. Mm, you may be right. We consider that along with its other characteristics, such as its face and hands, it's more likely to be a beastkin like you said. Physical examination would need to confirm this beyond doubt, but I'm satisfied simply to have seen it. Oh, I wonder why I don't eat lunch at work instead of trying to create a town. <laughs> oh, my kingdom for a lunch. It seems you alone were familiar with the, the species. Where did you encounter it? Fairy kingdom of the first. Rune has been to every edge of existence. He has seen light that others could only imagine. Amazing. Creation truly holds no end of mysteries. Oh, how I'd love to see them all. The life beyond the bounds of our star and plane, both. Looks like we're having fun. Well, we were. <laughs> ah, hearing about the unknown never fails to rouse me. I felt the same way when Catram and Galuff treated me to tales of their travels. You've met my grandfather too. Oh, didn't I already mention it? It was when Galuf came to Tyrell to investigate the Golden City. I happened to have business with Galul Jaja, so we met in Tulilal. Little did I know that the tiny baby was cradling would return as you. To think that our paths had already crossed all these years ago. Not only yours and mine either. Lena Shipia was there too, you know? don't remember. It's quite fine if you don't. Ha ha ha. It was actually because Gallup told me about Charlian that I later urged Alan Shipia to take up gleaning. My pussy bun bun was growing up dour and withdrawn. And it was when I was at my wit's end that I recalled your grandfather's story about gleaners. Seeing the world through their adventures would inspire a change for the better, I believed. I'm sorry I was doubted and withdrawn. If you ask me, you still have some work to do. <laughs> but it's because you're a way that you're, uh, it's because, sorry, but it's because you're that way that you're with us now and I am for I am I for one am grateful well let's keep moving shall we there is a facility I've been wanting to visit the Clara Museum of Nature they're supposed to have creatures that take you on leisure flights just one problem it seems only three people can fly at one time and you and Erenville should go. The rest of us still have plenty of other things we can do here. There's room for one more. Why don't you come with us, Rune? Sure thing, buddy. Then it's settled. The museum is at the bottom of the ramp that runs west of Lenu and Arrow. Come on.
All right, so yeah, down, good stuff. the other images are here okay same thing It is clear a museum of nature. The main building is closed due to ether, ether shortage, but happily they're still offering leisure flights. These are the fellows that will bear us. How adorable. They don't look capable of flight. Well, it's Papa Bearers, right? Ha ha ha. Come now, you know better than to judge a creature by its appearance. This will be great. I just know it. Kafquia is ready to take the, to the sky on the Mwipabera. <laughs> Mwipabera. Ah. Begging your pardon, but this is where you can go uh, on leisure flights, yes? Indeed it is. Bearing you all, uh, bearing you will be our adorable Mwipabera's. <laughs> you are especially trained by a Tarali friend. Just say the word and we'll send you up and away. There you have it. Shall we then? You got it. Let's do it. Are you ready? Then go on ahead and mount up. The Mew Paberas fly a set route, so you need only relax and enjoy the view. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll be damned, they really do fly. Ha ha ha. Formation, don't we look like migrating birds? Except we're on giant rodents. <laughs> Speaking of migrating birds, the mallard is where your name comes from. Did I ever mention that? Not I knew, but I learned it from the shamaness, not from you. Migration bird can fly anywhere it desires, even across oceans to distant continents. And you've done just that, my clever mallard. I thank you not to call me that. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh dear, is it all over already? Time really does fly when you're having fun. Was wonderful. An experience worth saving to the very end. You two enjoyed yourselves as well, I trust. It was enjoyable enough, I suppose. From my fussy bun bun, that's high praise. I'm glad I invited you in rune. Thank you for indulging me. I could. 
I'd go for another hundred rides, but I must settle for the one. It's time we were headed to the Aero Terminal. There are still things you wish to do. You'll want to do them now. When you're ready, make your way along the path yonder, and I'll find the others to let them know the same. Right, buddy. She's only a facsimile constructed from her memories. I understand this. But when she's right there, as alive and spirited as ever I've known her, as I've ever known her, how am I supposed to do it? How am I supposed to erase her? Does she even know how it tears me apart? Of course she does, buddy. delightful this has been. Not since my journey with the Dawn Serpent have I enjoyed myself so. Not sure how much more I'll get to you tomorrow. Gotta prep for the night's D&D &D campaign. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotta balance that creation and prep time for sure. No, I'm selling it short. This was even better. And that's because I was able to share this adventure with my darling boy. Well, this is as far as I can go. As for the rest... Just stop. You're doing it again. Deciding everything by yourself, and then... Disappearing. Ella Nespiu, you're my pupil, so you ought to understand. Everything that lives must one day die, and that which has died isn't meant to return. This is the way of nature. Mine is an unnatural existence, and I've suffered it only because I had to unmake this twisted mausoleum. But now that brave souls have appeared to whom I might entrust my mission, I may finally embrace the end. Can't you be happy for me? Could I be happy? I was actually quite scared, you see. Scared that I'd be trapped inside the barrier forever and denied the thrill of discovery for all my days. Your coming gave me courage and comfort, Ellen Eshpia. More than you know. And now here I stand, unburdened and free. In this moment, the happiest of my life.
those feelings will live on. Yeah. As you wish, Mother. I'll continue what you began. That's a good You're lad. Right, of course. Leaving home has broadened my horizons. I've met my friends and found this place. So I bid you leave your dreams with me. And no, I'll go where you couldn't go and do what you couldn't do. I will. Look at you. All grown up and dependable. <laughs> Yet with so much more ahead, a world of experiences await you, each a lesson of its own. You may know failure and burning regret, but these two shall become beacons to guide you. So come what may, hold your head high and carry on with conviction. And wherever your journeys take you, keep me close to your heart, will you? <laughs> I should like to be there to see what I haven't seen. You will be, Mother. Yeah, she got us. Yeah, it's a sweet tie to you, man. forget that you're my pride and joy. I trust you all can handle the rest. Take care and farewell. folks turn on the lights off in the last zone I'll leave this to you Aaronville I I won't waver not anymore if you're ready yourselves then so am I
That makes all of them. All that remains is to wait for the Meso Terminal to become vulnerable when it's about to initiate fusion. And then we strike. Time like the present, I guess. The ether of all residents will shortly be replenished. Be at ease. No action on your part is required. We thank you for your patience. Wait, it's already begun? Oh, shit. a moment too soon it's as if she as if she's saying she won't let us do as we please anymore through our time here we've come to know what it is fiend seeks to protect that doesn't change what we have to do correct case is firmly fixed on the mezzo terminal we'll carry out kafkia's plan it's our best chance at stopping sphine it will be dangerous, I shouldn't doubt. We are all prepared, I assume. That goes without saying. Come, we head to the Meso Terminal. Alrighty, Aphrodite. Good. It seems we can't simply shut down the Meso Terminal like the others. Not surprising in the least. My mother did. My mother did tell me uh, its, its defenses are tight, but she also left me a means of circumventing them. A program that will send our souls into the terminal's memory banks. Therein lies a virtual domain generated by Sphine's memories. So we would venture into this domain and thence seek out and stop Sphine. Our souls are transferred in their entirety. Dying in that domain would be no different from dying outside of it. There's no guarantee of a safe return. Nonetheless, that is a risk we must take. Ha <laughs> ha, Graha. You've already come this far, and I'll be damned if I'm going to turn back now.
By meeting the Endless, I've gained a better understanding of Sveen and the burden she bears. I want to say a few things to her when we meet again, even if it doesn't make a difference. Whatever happens, we won't let Sveen walk her misguided path any longer. It's our duty as a living, those we've yet to meet. I'll do all I can to provide support. Mother has instructed me on our program as well as the world within the terminal. It also I'll also keep an eye on your bodies while you're gone. Should it come to it, though, I won't hesitate to call on our comrades outside. I'm acutely aware of my limits. On entering the terminal, we will most certainly meet with fierce resistance from its defenses. And there's Spian herself. In order to initiate interdimensional fusion, she said that she intends to erase her own memories. What manner of entity she will become as a result, none can say. And if she invokes the key and opens portals to other worlds, we would have access to vast amounts of aether to bring to bear against us. We must be prepared for anything. Whatever we encounter won't change our objective, then it won't change what I'll do. Come, my friends, it's time to settle this. Oh yeah, Alexandria. I should do a very quick repair. I'm going to need uh, even more repairs when all's said and done. The amount of times I've done this dungeon already is too high. Ha ha ha!
Prinz Asphin ist her. that do? Yes. Whoa. Okay. That was rather cool.
proceed with care. Yeah, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Volatile memory cache. Oh, shit. Hello. Yikesers. Oh, shit, 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 shit. That was my bad. It's too busy not paying attention. Too slow, too slow. Too slow, Joe. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> I was standing too close over. My bad. My bad. This boss, I hate the most in the dungeon. <laughs> oh, good. All right. So, so once I get past this, smooth sailing, right? <laughs> gonna be like that is it
shit. Okay, okay. K, 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 K. Got it, got it, got it. It's being testy. first. attention to the order. Shit, that's a circle. Oh god, I fucked up. Yeah. Why did I think that was a plus? Ugh. Shit. Okay, plus circle, circle. Mm -hmm. 
shit. Yeah, okay. That's dirty pool. That's fucking dirty pool. Okay. Dirty pool, I say. Yeah, yeah, I, I have a feeling I'll be joining the, the boss hate club for sure. Okay, so plus plus circle circle. Okay. Okay, well that one's interesting. Okay. 
the circle. So it's in reverse. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, how? Do we just ignore that circle? I guess we'll find out because that's what I'm going to try next. <laughs> Gotta be fast. Well, yeah, I, I, uh, I, uh, I appreciate I appreciate that. It's just like, do I ignore the circle or or just stay with the NPCs on that? Um, Oh shit! You son of a- Yeah, 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 yeah! Okay, 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 okay.
was a fight and a half. Whoa, 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 whoa. Waldo already, yes. second here folks just want to make sure I didn't uh inadvertently pass by uh any any loot boxes as it were from the boss. Okay. Oh, shit. Amalgam.
Okay. Right, so it's gonna go up along that way. was my fault. Because you can't have two 700 tone rings uh, at the moment. Okay. Fingered that one. That was ah.
I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh. Yeah. That was my own fault. Candy bars, kid. Yeah, they they butterfingers are pretty good. Oh, nothing, nothing like learning a fight, I tell ya. Although this this one's definitely a lot less stressful. It's just learning positioning. There we go. Ooh, ring of aiming. There we go. I'll take that bad boy. So 
I guess back, back down. And at the last, my film endless. Oh, wow. for us. That's a good question, my dear. This dungeon is absolutely crazy.
yeah, no, this is this is a great dungeon. The uh the the first boss, not gonna lie, yeah, that was uh That was something to get you to get you going. I'll tell you what. Edge technology, the eliminator. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh boy. guys want to gather up here or wasn't paying attention to what was going on. Oh. oh. That tells you what. Holy. so far so far this is good this is a, is a good boss fight for sure
shit. Club is creepy. Uh, thank God for limit breakers, man. <laughs> Woo. Holy shit. Take those too. Oh, okay. It's the same, same ones then, I'm assuming. Yeah, okay. The second blue pushback. Nice. Second blue push. That's, that's awesome, brother.
All the tome farming. <laughs> Steen! <laughs> Spleen! Steen, listen to me, please! I'm afraid she's gone. Synchronization will soon be complete. Your spleen is holding you back. See, oh my god, she's in the breastplate there. Stop fight, Steve. Young Fury. Oh, yes. Forever will I keep and cherish my people. To that end, I have removed the remaining checks upon my authority. Oh, she looks like a, a queen ant or whatever. Obstructions to the plan will be summarily removed. Wait, I still have it set. Be gone from my presence. According to Eliminator's battle data. You pose the single greatest threat. As such, you will be erased here and now. of the memories of Queen Sveen of Alexandria, and my desire to protect my people transcends all others. If it were you, could you have found another way? With your strength, could you have your, held your fast to that which blood is dear without sacrifice? Listen to me. There's something that I need to tell you. Is that concern or suspicion? <laughs> Both. If things should take a turn for the worse, Shutting you down. Obstructions to the plan will be summarily removed. Oh, yeah. 
I got something that glows too. There's always giant robots. Yeah, always, my friend. Makes me want to think that they can't be trusted. Oh, we'll see how the we'll see how the queue goes, folks. Uh I'm willing, I'm willing to hang tight for about 20 minutes uh, myself. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's getting pretty late for this lad. And uh, fortunately I was true to my word and uh, put in put in a good uh, stream. I think it made all the difference having the old Advil sinus and cold just before the stream. That definitely helped. Together, beat the world's fastest puzzle champion. All white pieces, too. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, hey, man. Uh, I, I, that doesn't surprise me. You know, it's, uh, I mean, hey, tech, tech is moving in absolutely wonderful ways, right? Just got, we got to make sure that it keeps moving in wonderful ways and not, uh, and not detrimental. The way I look at it, they're still going to need mechanics, right? Well, maybe, maybe not. I suppose you could have repair robots. But hey, what about when the repair robots need repair?
<laughs> repair robots all the way down. <laughs> repair for the repair for the repair. I'll tell you that 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 dungeon was pretty effing awesome, but wow, did it ever kick the shit out of me? Like just just endurance wise, right? Like just having not having the adrenaline pump you through the for those that first fight for sure. I, I will say this. I am enjoying the, the difficulty level uh, being raised uh, as much as my swearing might indicate otherwise. <laughs> uh, I think it's I think it's good uh, for us as a community. Keeps you on your toes with how fast. It, yeah, the, the AOEs are just. You almost have to like. Forget the visual signifiers and just go. Like, that's kind of what I was doing that last run where we finally took took him down. Uh, yeah, I was just like, screw this, just go. And even then, I still I still missed one or two timings, but fortunately, they were separated enough uh, so as not to uh, not to wipe. combo yeah smart move man smart move i just kept on watching the the health bar of the boss and then it was like limit break time Keep my ass out of fire. Get off. Get off. What mechanics I can get off? Like I mean, in as far as my own rotation. Uh But uh, yeah, uh, I was I was more concerned about not dying, and I know it's I know it's worth a good one percent uh, of the boss's health. So <laughs> when I see it get down to around two or three, Lord. I've only done that for ultimates. Well, yeah, you're uh that's that's the sign of a of a very good player, sir. <laughs> but yeah, I uh I I don't mind uh doing the ultimates when I'm uh when I'm uh, with NPCs, man. Uh I really don't. Cuz one one thing I do realize is that well, like, you know, grouping with the NPCs, like I mean, they're just going to take average like average DPS output for for the class and stuff, right? Like, it's not like playing with real people where you've got some really good people that know their rotations, know how to move, and stuff like that. I'm sure some of those fights are are much easier with with live action folk, as it were.
Yeah, that gives that is a good indicator, right? Like, I mean, you you have instances like uh, I had, what was it, last night or the night before where following the NPCs was not doing me any good because there's just too much of a delay in doing that, right? You just got to, but because of the NPCs, I learned whereabouts to get my ass over to uh, ahead of time, right? So... If anything, the system is good for for kind of teaching you the fight, right? So Just do her, folks. It's all good in the hood. Oh shit, oh shit. Yikes. Yeah, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Damn it, as soon as I should have been paying attention to the vortex. Whoopsies. shit. Oh god. Oh, 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 oh. oh, 
Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. That's uh, that's some tricky shit that is. Oh God. Frickin' platforms, man. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Uh. Okay. Oh God. Oh God. No. I came out. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Fuck, I feel bad.
Yeah, just testing for gra gravity for science. Yeah, I, it was so weird. Like, I couldn't see where, I couldn't see what to do. Like, all I could see was a wall. And everyone, good, good, good. Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Mechanics. I love the, the that floor mechanic is effing awesome. And of course, well, hey, if it, it happens, it happens, guys.
aqui. Just stay where you were, buddy. So let's see if we can figure this level out here. Okay. Oh shit! I tried too late. Whoopsies! doing hi boo oh sweetheart I'm sorry now is probably not a good time I mean every time's a good time for boo but <laughs> oh my god boo boo This is the part I don't get. Like, I don't know how to control uh, which way. Like, I, I don't, I don't get it. Hi, boo, boo. Okay, 
Okay, boo. Uh, I love you, darling. Dice at zero. Stop moving. Okay. I didn't even see dice. So that's, that's, that's on me. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I thought I'd die. Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm sorry, boo. Hi, boo. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. Okay, so where's the dice? I don't...
You're such a bugger. Inner Crom the Destroyer. Yeah. Like the tight thank you there, Boo. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, damn it. They took off before I could die. Reached me, Lamachi. Is it? Is it really you? No, only in part. My memories as a living person are gone. I've been remade from those I had as an endless. However, I cannot remain long, for the Meso Terminal will soon cease to function. She is the Matrix movie, yes. Once, you wanted to know me, Lamachi. Let my last act be to give an honest accounting. I am, above all, sorry for the suffering I've caused your people and mine. I am ultimately powerless against the inevitable, unable to do aught but visit harm upon the innocent. I am, in the end, a pitiful, selfish creature. One that should never have been created. Yeah, robots have no feelings. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, her, dire her directive was to be there for her people, right? I, I, you know, I got to be mindful of, of what Lamat too, right? Like, I don't want to be, like, if this was just me and her, I would definitely be like, you're merely a system created to sustain Alexandria. Who wants to live forever? Yes. 100% dude. Our nations are worlds apart, but they feel so close. Who knows what we could have accomplished had we walked together towards a shared future. And yet, it could never be so. We each had our own to protect. Hmm. If only I had met you when I was still alive, then perhaps. <laughs> but it's no use dwelling upon a miracle that didn't happen. Still, if there's one thing I hope you'll believe, it is this. Brief though it was, 
I treasured our time together. It pains me to think that its memory will disappear along with me. I know I have no right to ask this of you, but when I'm gone, my people, will you? We'll take care of them. Don't worry. And we will never forget the Endless. Neither them, nor the time we spent with you. So be free of your burdens, Sveen. And sleep well. I will. Thank you. Farewell, my beloved Alexandria. should go to trial oh or in our in our pocket Obviously, we got to watch the credits. So it was that the Meso terminal fell dark and the Endless departed for Oblivion's embrace. Their resplendent paradise was no more as the memory sustaining it faded with the golden light. Even so, in a way, they live on. Hey, Booper. This I felt with conviction as I basked in the glow of a new dawn.
Oh, now you get up and move over to the laptop. You're such a bugger. I got the attention I required, father. It remains to be seen how interdimensional fusion may have affected other reflections. Kyle's parents spoke of the power's capacity for both good and evil. I cannot help but wonder how Sveen's deeds will be remembered by those they touched. The key that started it all was entrusted to the adventurer. Such an artifact certainly lies within the science realm of expertise, and no objection was raised to their retaining it for research. See, I kind of feel like Kryle should have it. Personally. I mean, although Ishtol is obviously going to be By able to research it better. Kona, the sky deep Zenote was placed under the strict watch of the Landskart. Ah, Blue. With the mighty Bakun cool, sorry. among their number, they shall not want for strength. Even in Soralja's absence. Upon learning of their queen's passing, the people of Alexandria mourned and wept. Having devoted herself to sparing them sorrow, the sight might well have moved Sveen to tears. However, yeah, I'm Graha and Beethoven need to research it 100%. I have faith that her subjects will know joy once more. As anticipated, the news that young Gululja had succeeded his father as king was greeted with trepidation. Reception was also mixed when Wuklama came forward to name herself as the boy's guardian. But the people were mollified to learn that Everkeep systems remained operational and there would be no impact on their lives. One day, when he is older, Kalulja will decide for himself what manner of ruler he will be. Till that day and beyond, may the path of the young king be illuminated by the love of family. Servants, great victory. Oh, oh, oh. Having honored those they lost, they turned their attention to a brighter future and celebrated for three days and nights.
there we go. The big taco moment. Whoa, 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 whoa. These little ankle biters off me. Not oh. everything had been resolved, though. Those who had spent 30 years in the dome struggled to resume their former lives. This and a host of other challenges remained. continue to lead with strength and wisdom the people may be assured that peace will endure he is going to open the floodgates to of some prime evil god yeah of course of course Yeah, so as as is tradition uh, on my channel. We'll, uh, we'll finish watching the credits, give all the thousands of people that, that work on, on this, their, their just due, even if it's only in passing. And then we'll be calling it a night. <laughs> It's only right. 100%, man. a great scene just one shot hilt punch to the solar plexus Oof.
Yeah, found his weakness all right. Damn straight he did.
sorry for going quiet there, folks. Yeah, just uh, just wrapping the MSQ up now after almost a six-hour stream. And good evening, Thalian. Good to see you, brother. I'd like I'd like to think it's a success. It's uh it's a lot more it was a lot more epic than I thought it was gonna be. Uh and there was even even world <laughs> world calamity involved, which totally kinda caught me off guard. But uh it'll be very interesting. I mean, this is just the first major patch of this expansion, so It'll be it'll be quite interesting to see which of the storylines that you know you kind of get exposed to through this that they're gonna follow. Yeah, it opens the door for even more more stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what happens next? That's a good that's a very good question, man. Uh I wouldn't be surprised if we, you know, get introduced to another reflection. I mean, there's there. I mean, there's part of me that I would love to go and help the thirteenth out, go help Zero and Zeromus. Uh, but we'll have to we'll have to see what kind of uh, studying uh, Ishtola and uh, Graha can do on that key. With Krom and answer the riddle of steel. Hey, I'd be down for that. Find a find a Hyboria reflection. Well, which is kind of Terrell, really. Um How many hours to complete? Oh geez, for me. Oh, it's quite a few. Um, for me, it was probably like, I don't know, 50 hours. Cause like, I'm just thinking like most of my streams for this have been like, well, except for last night, uh, it's only a couple hours long, but for the most part, they've been three and a half plus. So, and I've got several, almost five hour streams in there too. So yeah, I'd, I'd say for me, it was about 40 or 50. And I mean, technically, the expansion's not done yet, right? There's still there's still a couple more. There's going to be a, a few more patches uh, between now and the next expansion. So, tech yeah the tech is crazy dude like just getting all those people to coordinate stuff <laughs> yeah ashen was uh ashen was a super trooper he spartan that shit Say hello, shift absolutely destroyed me. Oh, dude. 
You have a good night, sir, and I will uh I'm gonna be following in short order as soon as the uh the credits are done myself. So you have a good night. Thanks for popping in to say hello as always and uh get a good rest, man. Yeah, yeah. Now, the other thing that just struck me, too, is we never really... We never really did see what happened to preservation, right? See the newer Alliance raid? Yeah, yeah.
man, oh man. It's always, uh, you know, there's always a bit of sadness, right? <laughs> to finishing uh, the first major patch of an expansion. I mean, unless you know you've got other expansions to go to. <laughs> Which is why I loved my Realm Reborn uh, playthrough. Yeah, there are yeah, there's tons of unanswered stuff. Um, so who knows? Maybe maybe we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get get some uh, some goodies with that. So But I mean given given how long it took me for to queue for that last that last fight that tells me there, there there can't be a ton of people that have completed the MSQ yet, which is somewhat surprising, or or maybe a ton of people have finished it. And it was just the time of night I was queued up. I'm not sure. yet to okay outside like I, like I say it's a good it's a it's a hefty it's a hefty MSQ like I'm not I mean even had I had even had I been a total super science Spartan like you I still would have been you know very happy with the sheer amount of content given to us in this expansion and I and I and I just have a feeling I have a feeling like it's just it's just the tip of the iceberg right like you know I have a feeling they had to well I mean I have no idea we've been needing to pug a few people to fill up for the X trials okay like I mean I, I, I can only imagine how much manpower it took to do that graphical upgrade, right? Like, you know, for, for, for some, like, I mean, part of me was like, oh, well, it's probably going to be a short MSQ or whatever, because they had to do all this work for the graphical upgrade. And then no, 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 like, oh, here we are. I'm sorry, we haven't been able to talk properly. For multiple oh, consoles, too. construction work and Papa's funeral, I've hardly had time to breathe. Don't you worry, darling. But at long last, oh, there's a lull in my duties. You've done more for us than we could ever hope to repay. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. When we left the Orsia behind to take part in the contest, none of us could have predicted what complications would follow. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone could. You truly have a knack for finding trouble, my friend. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have said yes otherwise. And you wouldn't have it any other way. You got it, Sonny. So what's next for you? Assuming you're still set on leaving the Gleaner's life behind? No way. I'm off to fulfill my mother's dream, of course. Gleaner, Gleaner time, like man. Like she had intended, I'll embark on a journey in search of the unknown. She's sure to enjoy my stories 
when we meet again in the ethereal sea. Ha <laughs> ha the word you invite universal complications. Well, That's well, right, brother. Sounds like a plan. But will you have the coin to get by? I may no longer be a cleaner, but I still have contacts in Charlien. Contacts with deep pockets, always eager to pay for information on new or rare species. Hm. We've got it all worked out. And what of you? Any new adventures in the offing? Regardless, until you're ready to leave, you're our guest here in Tulijola. And this time, I won't pester you to take up a post. <laughs> By now, I know you well enough to know you can't stay in one place. No more than you can ignore the plight of those in need. That's Your path great, will darling. always lead you elsewhere, and you'll continue walking it. Isn't that so? An adventurer to the marrow you are. What is it exactly that spurs you on? Over the star. All the sights I've yet to see. The legacies I bear. Love for the star. <laughs> You're not the only queen we've turned down, that's right. Oh. oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, you sons of bitches. Because that's a thing of my who's it's. Well, as much as I'd love to keep chatting, I need to get going. Still a heap of things to do, and it wouldn't leave it wouldn't do to leave it all to Kona. By the way, did your little job decide to remain in Solution 9? He did. I said that he can consider Tulialala his home, but he's more comfortable over there. Shell keeps an eye on him for us, but we'll visit him as often as we can. He still needs our support, especially while he's or agonizing over his inherited authority. So I told him he needn't make a decision right away. We can't postpone it forever either. Do whatever I can to help Galuja, as well as everyone inside the dome. I promised as much to Sveen. For my part, I'll be keeping to Toral for a time. Among other things, I'd like to look into the problem with the wildlife in Shaloni. If you get the urge, Rune, let's go on another journey together. There's still plenty of places I would like to show you. Now that sounds like fun. If you ever need me, I'll come running. Oh, and before I forget, I also have a gift for you. Can you guess what it is? Uh, Pebril, an alpaca! It comes from Tob Tobley's state, of course. And as sure-footed as they come. Perfect for an adventurer who always on the move, eh? Here, this is the whistle for calling it. Oh my god, awesome. Right. I'll really get going now. But I'm sure we'll meet again soon. Till next time, take care. Okay. <laughs> I'll pack again. <laughs> Fellow citizens of Alexandria, ever since our beloved queen's passing, you have understandably abided in grief. Thorough darkens our, your once bright faces. But is this what her majesty would have wished to see? No, most assuredly not. 
You know this to be true. We are to honor her memory. We must reclaim our smiles to that end. Oh, the, the, oh shit, the video card's firing up. arcade now yes oh boy oh you sons of bitches what the that's right friends after long hiatus I'm pleased to announce the grand reopening of the Arcadion Realm's finest fighters stand ready to entertain you in glorious and thrilling combat. Come and join us, I bid you, and let your cares be forgotten. Ooh, okay. All oh, us are evil, yes. Guys of Flame of Proclaim Night's End and Thoughts Unto Adventure 10. The Brave Make Haste over Hill and Something Something Trail. On Light's Golden Trail. There we are. Lead of the main scenario quest. To unlock new content have now become available in Tully Lull and Solution 9. Ooh. Wowzers. Oh, yeah. Oh, can't summon them here. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, folks. Holy jeez. I am absolutely exhausted. But what? Well, well worth it. And thank you so much, Ashen. That was... uh. This is this is a notch up, right? And I and I and I like it. Um Yeah, we'll we'll have to uh we'll have to spend a good hour uh on tomorrow night's stream. Uh just talking about this expansion. Right now my brain is uh Pretty, pretty close to uh, liquidy tapioca right now, but wow, uh, not disappointed, not disappointed at all, uh, just surprised at some of the tempo and the scope, uh, but those are all, but those are all good surprises to have as a, as a player, but yeah, folks, uh, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. This is your pal Rune signing out for the night. We will catch you tomorrow. God bless.